Dearest Ashley, I will never forget the first night we spent together, first holding hands, then sharing secrets, and eventually waking up in each other's arms. Your smile, the adorable dents of your dimples left quite the impression on me, and I am unable to shake that. indelible image. When Katie introduced us at the holiday party, she forever opened my eyes to your overwhelming beauty. Dearest Mark, I will never forget the first night we spent together, first holding hands, then sharing secrets, and eventually waking up in each other's arms. Your welcoming eyes, a beautiful shade of brown, left quite the impression on me, and I am unable to shake that heartwarming image. Our next three months together, as a couple, were no doubt the most exciting and memorable days of my entire life. And our recent time apart has been not only painful, but extremely helpful. No matter the disagreements in our past, I'm positive we can work through these issues. But while our first three months were fine, we are currently moving into very different directions. You are a kind and caring man, but I can't say our relationship was without faults. The blame for our divide lies squarely upon my heavy shoulders which is why I write to you alone from the dim confines of my study. Take, for example, your study. Nobody our age turns a perfectly rentable third bedroom into an office of darkness. A day doesn't pass when I don't regret the actions that led to losing you, my love. I plead for your forgiveness and swear to you improvements in future endeavors. And then there's your vocabulary. In your lengthy letter you wrote, I swear to you improvements in future endeavors. Who talks like that? These are not merely words. Clearly, we are on different pages. But your distance is justified. As for my often critiqued lexicon, I know it's always peeved you. It's simply that the English language has forever sparked my interest. For what it's worth, my articulate nature seems awfully trivial to break off a flourishing relationship. Perhaps there was something else I didn't realize. Dearest Ashley, I will never forget the first night we spent together. First holding hands, then sharing secrets, and eventually waking up in each other's arms. Your breasts, the perfect teardrop shape, left quite the impression on me, and I am unable to shake that totally delicious image. Seriously? How awesome was that night? Of all the dudes and chicks I've ever hooked up with, you're the one I'll always remember. I rack my brain searching for answers, and I remain confident that you will follow my lead. As for me, the routine remains consistent. We're changing, Mark. And I know it's hard to hear, but our interests have always been, well, different. I study Shakespeare. I read Us Weekly. I wake up early. I sleep till noon. I think about you. I think about shoes. But that still doesn't sum up the deeper problems we were having. Have you never realized that I rarely kissed you goodnight the entire time together? And talk about tongue action! Now, I've had my share of adventures. This one time in Cabo, I met these two local hombres who took me back to their home. It was more of a mud hut, really. I'll spare the details. Nothing too controversial. I mean, relationships should be utterly open, even the ones in hiatus. Personally, I don't have many secrets. Dearest Mark, I will never forget the first night we spent together. First holding hands, then sharing secrets, and eventually waking up in each other's arms. Your schlong in all its enormity left quite the impression on me and blah, blah, blah. Dude, your letter to Ashley is so totally lame. Good thing you left it on the coffee table before sending it out. This way, I was able to make a copy and understand what a total loser my roommate is. Do you actually think Ashley will respond to your pathetic sob story? <laughs> She's way too good for you, man. I mean, come on. You work at Barnes & Noble. And my career is flourishing. The manager recently hinted at a 5% raise, as opposed to the standard 3% yearly increase. I constantly work overtime and take extra shifts for the sole purpose of remaining far from home, 
a place that reminds me of our many joyous times together. Maybe because your apartment reeks. Your roommate, Bender, hardly showers. And when he does, he never ceases to shed his disgusting towel and skip around naked. As if nature intended him that way. Oh yeah, I'm an ideal gift of nature. God's blueprint, if you will. How could Ashley possibly stay with you after sneaking a peek at me? I, I need, need you. you. Don't get me wrong, I do. Just not in the way that you need me. Like a flower to sunlight. That doesn't mean I'll forget your moves. You move me. And although desperation seeps through my addiction, understand my true desires. Not to obtain you through guilt, but rather remind you of wonderful memories. Remind me again why I live with you? Oh yeah, accessories. The couch. Sandcastles. Body grind. A grill. Banana splits. The pinch and twist. Your vacuum. Our vacuum. The vacuum. Which was supposed to signify something. Our first major buy as a couple. I spent hours analyzing our options and believed that a Hydro 3000 could most represent our love. Taking in all that comes near, never breaking under pressure. But I'm blown away by your letter. And I know someday you will find that special someone. Someone who sweeps you off your feet and deserves the love you exude. I'm letting one loose on your bed. Did you just hear that? I'm beginning to sound like you. Maybe odd words are contagious. And don't stress about my cough. The next morning you seem kinda edgy, but Los Medicos cleared me for mono. Now it's just me. At this moment of truth, I stand here alone on the precipice of chaos, reaching for you as I fall. Asleep, you'll never know the difference. Until days from now when you watch this, and I won't stop laughing because I remember this exact moment. I'll never forget your diction. But enough with the fancy terms. Let's talk about us. I have some new ideas I'd like to bring in. Incorporate. You would always say, incorporate. Spoken like a college professor. But you, you're a student at heart. You'll carefully reflect on the situation and probably conclude it was just a stupid prank. No harm, no foul. I'm slipping. A name for you. How about Bender? The three of us together? Think about it. The more I write, the more I'm unsure. I tried for so long to deflect your words, but as I close this letter, I, I don't, don't know, know where else, else to turn. turn. You've turned into a target with a pretty easy mark. Mark, I'm confused. I want to move on, but how can I throw us away? You know all about me. My favorite colors. What are you? Yellow? My lucky numbers. A threesome could work. My antique jewelry. Grow some stones. And my heart. I remember that from the morning. We woke up in my bed, the sun barely shining through the shutters, and you stared straight into my eyes. I told you once I'd never leave your side. And I believed you. And you believed me. I still do. I was a fool all this time in this letter. You may be surrounded by works of fiction, but your pitiful life is a fact. Truth or dare? I challenged myself to live up to that standard because I've always known you could have anyone. Or a variety of games. And each time one of us wins, we take a drink. <sighs> My vision was blurry. I apologize. I'm sorry, but it's true. Ashley will find someone else. There is no one else. Now I'm alone. My soul is exposed. And strip. I got it. That's what you do when you fail. The biggest mistake would be to run away now. So come back and you'll be stuck here with me. I'll be trapped years from now in a different life, looking back and realizing it's too late. But that time will come, and with burning sexual tension, I'll grab you and say I... Just face it, dude. You? I don't want to be the girl you... Because without you, I'm... Lost. lost. Your pal. I'm waiting. With love. With love. Ben Mark. <laughs>